I studied animal science, so I graduated in 2001, and from that then I did a PhD in animal nutrition, which I finished in 2004. Following animal science and my PhD, which I was based out in Lyons Estate for that PhD, um, I went into the feed industry for two years. So I worked in industry for a couple of years, and then I suppose I, I was interested in research and, and uh, academia, and I saw an opportunity to come back to UCD at that point, and I've been lecturing there since 2007. I suppose my time out in Lyons was probably some of the best memories that I have of it and I think particularly when you're in fourth year you've been on work placement so you've had that hands-on experience. You come into fourth year and the subjects are very practical, very applied and you get to combine your practical element in Lyons. So I remember getting the bus out to Lyons and doing our practical work there and back in the evening so that would have been I suppose one of the highlights for me of my time in UCD. I think it's really important because while students are in Belfield, they do a lot of the theory around nutrition and fertility and breeding and so on. But when they come to Lyons, I suppose they see it in action. They see the research going on. They get to handle the animals. They get to see for themselves. And I think that gives a very important dimension to the, to the, theory, the theory that they do in, in UCD itself. The agri-food industry in Ireland is booming, um, so Food Harvest 2020 had targets of 12 billion for exports from the agri-food sector and I think we're going to well surpass that. Um, there's a new um, target now through Foodwise 2025 and it's really highlighting the very, um, I suppose, importance of agri-food in rural Ireland, all over Ireland in fact, but that's resulting in significant opportunities for our graduates across from farm management right through to working in the food sector for Board B, for Chagas, for the Department of Agriculture, the foods, the private sector as well. So lots of opportunities uh, because of, the, I suppose, the buoyancy in the agri-food sector at present.